first of all, IPOB, uh, the IPOB's command and control structure, if it existed, is broken down. So there, is, there isn't one IPOB. There are multiple IPOBs. That's a big problem. Um, and you've got political IPOBs. Uh, in Anambra State, for instance, um, I think one of the challenges with the election is knowing which IPOB you're talking about. There are political IPOBs owned by partisan political actors in the elections in Anambra State. You've got um, the calls of Anambra Central, um, who are also a faction of IPOB. Uh, I'm masquerading that is as a faction of IPOB. You have got cults that are from outside the state, and so you've got a set of cults that are from somewhere in Ebony State and parts of Abia State as part of the political IPOB in Anambra State, for instance. And then you've got the Nandikanos IPOB, and all of them are competing for space. And there is a bit of commercial dimension to this because people are making money off of this stuff. And there are other benefits uh, that could accrue, including who gets to be declared in the number of state elections. So it's totally messed up. Uh, that's the truth. Uh, but the reality is also that there is incapacity of leadership, both from the federal level and from the political elite of the Southeast. And I think we've got to admit that part of the challenge is the complete dissoluteness mm. of the political elite of the Southeast. Wow. Former chairman of Nigeria's National Human Rights Commission, NHRC, Chidi. Andre Kahlo says the status quo style of leadership that exists within the indigenous people of Biafra Ipo has broken down. Andre Kahlo said this during a recent interview on Arise TV. He was speaking on the insecurity in the southeast region and separatism. According to Andre Kahlo, Ipo today is not limited to Namde Kanos. The Ipo command and control structure, if it existed, is broken down so there is not one IPOB there are multiple IPOBs and you've got political IPOB or the Kalu a professor said in Anambra state for instance I think one of the challenges in the election is knowing which IPOB you are talking about they are political IPOB owned by partisan political actors in Anambra state there is a faction in Anambra central who are masquerading as IPOB You've got a set of calls that are from somewhere in a Boeing state and part of Abia state as part of the political IPOP in Anambra state, for instance. And then you've got the Namdekanos IPOP. All of them are competing for space. And there is a commercial dimension to this because people are making money of this stuff. It's totally messed up. That is the truth. But the reality also is the incapacity of leadership both from the federal governments and the political elites of the southeast politics nigeria reports that last week ipop vowed to observe a seven-day lockdown as from november 5th in support of its detained leader namde kano unless he is released by the federal government on or before november 4th Disturbed by the negative implications of the seven-day sit-at-home directive by IPOP for the Anambra governorship election, the state and the southeast zone and Nigeria, Oane Zendigbo, had begged the separatist group to consider the stand. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, from what he said, uh, he said there are a lot of IPOB groups here and there. And it's one of a Nam de Kano. I think that is what the old world knows. All of those ones who are saying they have a, according to him, or that they have different factions. Because, of course, you might tend to agree with him. Because you hear some people say that the IPOB enforcing this, enforcing that, and we don't even know those who are enforcing. But the only person that the old world knows is Nam de Kano, who is in the custody and is the one, the statement that is coming from, what is this man's name? The statement coming from, the spokesperson, Ima Powerful, is the one that everybody that everybody listens to. What he says is what stands with Nam De Kano, since he's the spokesperson of a IPOB. Of course, if he says there may be political, whatever, and that is why you see that police and the security agents they will arrest some people and they will tell you, oh, they are IPOB members. He said there are some who are enforcing it, who are gaining it, partisan IPOB. You can say that. But in as much the statement will always come out from Ima Powerful, who happens to be the spokesperson of the the group. That is what the old world will listen to. It is it is it is like that. Just like when people go out there to protest, you begin to see 
pro Buhari protesters, this and this and this and that, just to counter what is being done. At least the first, I another high pop that you can think of, but he has named his own de facto customary government, which uh, this man is now, which he has formed, Asari Dukubo. Because the only time you see him is when he wants to counter what uh, Namde Kano has said. But every other thing that you are fighting for the people, you are speaking on behalf of the people, what the people have been complaining about, he doesn't talk about that. Himself and uh, Uchi Mefo, they don't talk about that. All what Namde Kano always say is what they want to counter, just to prove a point. And nobody knows them. They are just there on their own. Nobody knows them. Maybe they have a different group that they are coordinating, but as far as we know, the person who is in charge of the Biafra, Biafra we have in this country, is Namdi Kano. And you know the price he's paying for that. When Adaku, uh, Asari Dokuba will come at you, know, you know what, is, what he stands for. Somebody who cannot say, uh, who cannot go through for his people, is that one supposed to be called a, a, a leader? No. A leader is somebody who must have sacrificed. And that is a typical of what Namde Kano is portraying that everyone can see. So definitely people want to form a lot of things so that to discredit them. And that is what we are seeing. But that does not take the fact that, yes, we still have a, a central body of IPOB that is headed and led by Namde Kano. You can't take that away. All of those ones, they can continue to do whatever they want to do so that it was to sabotage the effort of the group. That is the way I see it. So guys, let's hear your opinion concerning what he said that the structure of IPOB has broken. No, to me, it has not broken. But some people just want to make sure that they, they try to counter or to discourage what they are doing at the other side. Another thing is that if it is not a panando, it cannot be panado just like they always say the difference is always clear a lot of people might want to really imitate just to break down the structure of a ipod because you know that namde kano as it is now is so powerful and he has a lot of followers and which the government will want to break and that's why you see people like a uh, igf4 abi mefo uh, mefo forming alliance forming this forming this forming that and it's all this this is really expected you do, you really expect it so that they will break these structures and so that at the end of the day a lot of people will be discouraged i think yeah, that is the reason for all of this it is not uh, for anything you will see that at the end of the day they still know who is who they know who is who so guys uh, let's hear your opinion and have your take on this